Hello. Is that dog gonna bite me? Well, the way its tail is wagging, I would say so. Hey, pup. I like that bandana. Hey, buddy. I'm Deputy Huddleston with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office. Ah, uh, are you must be Grace? Okay. Well, what's going on today, Grace? You know, it's kind of a really long story. Okay. Um, you know, I've been divorced for almost 12 years now. Goodness gracious, all right. Yeah, hey, I've pup. been remarried for almost eight years now. Okay. And my ex-husband, who we share a child together. And that's Mr. Cervantes? Yes. Just very toxic. I don't know how else to explain it. He's called me every name in the book. He won't stop texting me. Um, I've asked him a million times to please stop harassing me and to please stop texting me. And it's all because I won't take him off of child support. Mm -hmm. I've already lowered it once six years ago and I took him off of health insurance. My husband now pays for that for the last six years. And because he agreed on the $300 a month, like he did that six years ago, we agreed on it because he started getting behind and he, I didn't want him to go to jail. I didn't want him to get you know, lose anything, his house, his life, um, as long as he spends time with my kids. So I lowered the amount and um, he got a new baby mama and she obviously left him. And so she and I are in the same boat now and we co-parent very well, me and her. Um, she comes over, she brings her son over so my son can see him. We do everything we can to co-parent and he just refuses and he, won't stop texting me. He knows I won't answer his call, so he just won't stop. Okay. And I love my son, and my son loves his dad. And I, if it wasn't as bad as it is now, I would not be contacting. But I feel like I need to have something on the record. Okay. Uh, because he knows I work from home. He knows I'm here during the day. Um, he drives by my house randomly at times. Where does he live? He lives in Venus. Okay. Yeah, he's a, he's, um, he's a veteran. He has been through a lot of things in his life. Um, I met him right after he got out of, you know, the army. And there was a lot of things that were bad for him. And that's why we ultimately aren't, we're never met for each other. Um, and I feel like it's just progressively getting worse over time. Okay. And, um, you know, his second baby mama, we went to court, and um, I was a witness for her of just how the co-parenting relationship is. And he acted a fool and wanted to give up his rights. And it's just such a roller coaster. I need something stable. I just need some peace. Well, and the child does, too. How, how is the My child now? My son is Six, 12. 12. My son's 12. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were divorced before I was, you know, even delivered my son. So this has just been a long time coming. And at some point, my mental health is, it's being affected. And so I just need something consistent and something stable. And I need him to not be able to just text me anytime he wants to call me a piece of shit, a bad mom, a welfare abuser, even though I don't get welfare or child support. Like, he's over six thousand dollars behind in child support at this point and he just won't leave me alone has he ever referenced the the child you have documents on the child support i assume yeah, I, yeah. I, I have, everything. have he, has he ever referenced in one of these tirades we'll call it a tirade um that document like well because of the you know the child support europe you know any yes he has i have it all in text message okay. if you want okay. to grab my phone yeah, would you please? Yeah. And I'm going to walk back to my truck. Okay, thank you.
The last text that you sent him or responded to, what did it say? scared of you fool lol I already said do it punk okay and I said if you feel that you're paying too much in child support contact your local child support office and have it reviewed I've told you this a hundred times and he says why can't you leave me be there's no more money this is just trafficking Zach for their federal money for their own pocketbooks you don't need help financially. It's just a sick form of control. You're playing a game. This is agreed upon amount that he suggested. You know, I mean. Mm -hmm. That you just, stated you've already lowered one. And because I co-parent Ashley, to. you know, plus your BFF Ashley kidnapped my son, which is completely ridiculous. Now you said that, that ridiculous. Ashley and, and Mr. Savranis are no longer together. No, no. So now he has two baby mamas, and so that's really what has escalated and made everything bigger than now because of it. Okay. And we went to court, and I've never seen Ed act that way in my entire life. He wanted to give up custody. The judge said, you know, temporary, you have no visitation to Odin, which is Zach's younger brother who is Ashley's son, mm -hmm. and um, he hasn't filed for anything, and he hasn't seen his other son in almost a year. Um, Odin. Odin. And Ashley has asked him over and over, can we have a phone call? Can we have some type of visitation? And he just refuses to speak to her. And he does have visitation with Zach. He gets them every other weekend and one night a week. And... You know, sometimes I, I can go a month without hearing from him, and sometimes I hear from him every two hours, and it's just consistent, and it's like a spiral, and it's just it's so heavy, and at some point I just need, I need something, and if he didn't call me every other name under the book, or mm -hmm. if, if he texts me regarding pick up and drop off of my son, of course I respond. Um, you know, I, I refuse to meet him alone. I refuse to do, and he just attacks me over and over. He texts my husband. He called my husband a pedophile. He called Ashley's boyfriend a pedophile. Like, it's whatever he makes up in his mind, it's true. And everyone else is wrong. He, he treats everyone in his life this way. His mother, his brothers, you know, it, it's not just me. It's Has he ever been uh, treated for any kind of psychiatric he needs to be he's on he's on benefits for the VA so he he's disabled he he cannot or he chooses not to work he can definitely work and he has always worked but he chooses not to work and he lives off his VA benefits and I think because of that you know I know he has a mental health issue and I've always known that but it's, um, it's not been diagnosed, right? right? Well, I mean, maybe he has because he's receiving benefits. I don't know the amount. I don't okay. know any of it. it. He wasn't when you were Correct. with him. Okay. Correct. And so, um, you know, it's just been a long time coming, and I don't want to put my son in a position. And that's really what has resisted from me, like, ever contacting a police officer or because that's not what I'm here for. I just want to live my life. I want to work. My husband works. We, we've been together for 10 years almost. Like, Ed ha used to love that Michael was my husband and, and, and used to brag that Zach, you know, was comfortable enough to call him dad. And it's just spirally getting out of control that I need to put something on the record in the event something bad does actually happen. Okay. Because do you have custody yeah. of... I do, yeah. Uh, so, what is your, son, your son's name? Zachary. Zachary. Yes. Is it court-ordered custody? Yes. You have primary and yes. full custody? 
Well, no, I, I we have joint custody. Joint. But you have primary. A, yes, I'm the custodial parent. Okay. And he has them every other weekend on, and on. Well, the paperwork says Tuesdays, but for years we've done Thursdays. How is it normally arranged to meet? No, he picks them up from school on Thursdays, and then he takes them back to school on Mondays, and then we pick them up on Mondays, on the weekends that he has. Them. So technically, you don't have to communicate with him in right. any way concerning right. the child. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, so we use witness uh, witness statements here with Johnson sure. County. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need you to write down okay. what's going on. Take your time. Pretty self, sorry, Bubby. Your name's going to go here. Your address. Um, we don't really need your employer address unless you want to give it. If you want to give the employer number, that's sure. fine. You say you work from home, so I guess it'd be the same. Uh, phone number, driver's license number. If you can read and write, that would be a yes. If you can't, we'll discuss other options. There's plenty of forms here. Like I said, take your time. No, ma'am. Um, would it be possible for me to get some pictures of those, some of those text messages, if not all of them? Yeah, of course. I, I saw that it was quite a few. You, you can actually just read through anything. This has been, you know, 12 years, so, you know, take Oops. your time. So you're green, correct, and he's yes, gray? Yes, sir. Just so, so I'm on the same page here with you. This is message is saying Saturday, November thirteenth. Yes, I'm, I'm going to assume that's 2021. Yes, sir. And then this next message is Monday, February fourteenth. I'm going to assume that's 2022. Yes, sir. Okay.
Uh-oh. Hmm. Got it. Yeah, I need to go get my driver's license, though, because I don't know the number. There's that. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You said he was in the Army? Yeah, he was in the Army. He's a retired vet. He's disabled. He says he's retired and that he's a stay-at-home dad, but he doesn't have any children that live with him. So I'm going to go get my Okay. Okay. So if you would, um, be sure and write down the fact that he's uh, texting you okay. constantly. Okay, let me grab that. I have a pen here if you need. It's the same color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on, and be sure and mention in your statement that you receive almost an unending, or however you want to word it, but uh, I need you to mention the texts 
and I need you to identify him in your statement. There you go. Is that his address you just wrote down there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Because I was going to ask you for that. <laughs> Do you know what kind of vehicle he drives? He has three different cars. Um, he has an old, like, Cadillac or something that he just got, like an old car. Um, then he has a minivan. It's gray. It's like a dark gray. And then he has a white van. It's like... Like a work van? Like it's like um, you know, down by the river. Like it's a really just beat up van. Okay. That's all I can explain. That 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 uh, describes it. <laughs> That's a very good description. Yeah. You would initial here, 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 and here, and sign there? Sure. Right there, too. Awesome. That way no one can add to your statement. Initial. Yes. All right. You would just put your name at the top there. You don't have to fill out all the rest. Sure. to press charges? I just want a cease and desist. I just want him to leave me alone. Okay. Well, the, the, this is how it works. So I take your statement. Sure. 
and I'm going to have you sign a restitution form too. That's just standard operating procedure for the, the county. I'm going to write up a report with all this information in it, plus everything you've told me. I'm going to turn it in. It will go to a detective, okay? I don't know what detective. It, they, they get assigned by the detective sergeant. Okay. Um, that detective may or may not contact you, okay? Um, one of the questions they're going to ask is, do you want to press charges? Because I believe that you do have a criminal case against Mr. Cervantes for harassment, possibly retaliation because of the court-ordered uh, child support. Well, then when the when the detective calls you, then you you need to tell him that. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's it's up to you. Yeah, okay. I just want him to stop texting me and harassing me, and mm -hmm. you know, um, trying to convince my son I'm I'm this bad person. Right. You know, and I don't want to take custody away from him. I want my son to be able to see his dad. So Sometimes there's there's folks that won't let you find that middle ground. Um, I don't Which is know. It's really hard when you have mental health issues. Yeah. Right. One thing I do need you to do, though, you know, we, we don't want to stir him up, but one thing I need you to do is text him right now and tell him in a text, do not contact me anymore. Yeah. And then I need a picture of that. And then once you send that text, no matter what he texts you back, do not respond. Okay? I got I, I want to reiterate do not respond to his texts. Okay. He's going to respond like I, I know, but don't don't respond to him. Don't don't respond to him at all anymore. Okay. Okay. Just leave it at that. I know he's going to respond. He's probably going to respond vehemently. Don't respond to him. But thank you. I appreciate your time. I need you to sign one more form. Sure. It's a restitution page. Do you know what this is? You want me to explain it to you? So, so um, let's say criminal charges are filed, mm -hmm. and during the course of the time frame between when he started harassing you and, and when he's found guilty, sure. if he's found guilty, if you're out any financial or monetary damage, he will have to pay you back. That's called restitution. Okay. So I need a signature right there. Sure. Today is the 22nd. Yes, ma'am. Are you, we have what we call decline to prosecute forms. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sign one of those or do you want to wait till the detective? I'd like to speak with the detective. Okay, that, that, that's probably a good idea. Okay? All right, I appreciate um, Anything else I can do for you? Any questions? No, I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I really do. We, we well, I hope really you have a great life. weekend. We really do. It's just, this is something that I've had to deal with for 12 years and it's like, this is all I know, but everyone else is like, Grace, what in the world? It's like, they're like, this is not normal. You need to reach out. You need to get an attorney. You need to get full custody. You need, and it's like, I don't want to hurt my child, but there's such a kid involved that um, it's really difficult. Well, I can't, I mean, I, I have to be unbiased. I can't offer any opinions or anything no, no, like that. No, I don't expect you to. I, you know, I'm just, I've moved on. I'm remarried, it's been 12 years, um, we've all grown, and I, I feel like he's going this way, and me and his other baby mama are, are trying to be better people, and it, that, it's that's everyone what it sounds else, like to me. It's everyone else but him, um, no accountability, um, there's no co-parenting, there's no type of 
a way to communicate with him. If I could just go and write up a list of, if you'll do school supplies and these shoes every year and you'll get his hair cut every six weeks, like let's do away with child, that, it's just not, it's not reality right. with my situation. Doesn't sound you like know, it. I, I, I pay for everything, his health insurance, $1,000 a month. I take him to the dentist. I get his teeth moved, removed. I buy him new shoes when he needs new shoes. I do everything for this kid. And he sees him every other weekend, and he gets to be a fun dad. And I love that for Zach. But this is an amount that he agreed on six years ago. And, and you said it was 300 a month? Mm -hmm. They're just 300 flat that we, we went together to the court and he hugged my neck and promised me that we would always be good and you know then he got another girl pregnant and so things have just kind of trickled. Apparently got remarried just recently and then divorced like within three months. But not, this wasn't Ashley? No. It's not girl. Girl. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Is he it sounds like you and Ashley may talk. We do, yeah. Uh, is he doing some of the thing, same things to her? Everything. His, her boyfriend's a pedophile. Her, her, um, she's a terrible mom. She's a Karen. She's a piece of shit. Um, she's yeah, I saw some of those texts. Son, you know, like he, she's kidnapped her son from him. I saw and that one. Everything under. I mean, I don't. I could go on for twelve years, like. You know, when he gets a girlfriend, it's all nice, and he wants to be a really good dad, and which is great. And he wants to be involved, and then, you know, it, it doesn't work out, and then we're back to being really bad parents again. Okay. It's a roller coaster. Yeah. Well, I'll get it wrote up. It's hard to even talk about it. You know, yeah. it's not something you want to address. It's really embarrassing. Um, I got married and pregnant and divorced all within one year. Wow. I've been kind of paying for it ever since, and um, I grew up in a really good home with great support system, and I just I've made it out alive, you know. Awesome. And, and I hope I'm trying I hope to uh, Mr. Zachary is. Um, I'm sure it, it sounds like you, you take good care of him. He's in sixth grade. He's a wonderful kid. He makes great grades. Um, he's sensitive. I think he's been through a lot on his dad's side when he's with his dad, but he loves his dad and he loves being with his dad. And it's my job to continue to support that and let him figure it out. As long as, long as it's healthy and right. not. Right, but where, where's the line? Like, where do you draw the line at? Like, when do I stop keeping him from his dad? Like, who does that? Tough, tough. Okay, well, he let me get it rolled up. He served his country. I'm very appreciative and very grateful for that. Um, I believe in, in the VA and the support that it provides. Um, That's not a blank check, though. No. And he refuses to think that there's anything wrong with him. It's everyone else. And so th now I just want him to leave me alone unless it is, re you know, regards to picking up and dropping off. Right. There's no really reason. And that sounds like it takes care of itself. But during the summer, it's going to be a huge issue. Okay. Well, you know. It'll be a huge issue. Well, the detective probably will be in contact with you before mm -hmm. the summer. It was nice meeting you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Have a good day, ma'am. If, if, I, I, I need to say this. If, if he comes by and you feel like you're threatened or anything like that, be sure and call. If you think it's an emergency, call 911. But how do you know when it's an emergency? If you feel your life or your physical safety is in danger. I've watched all the datelines, you know? Okay. Like, I just got to say it. You just don't know until it happens, right? Just got to say it, man. Have a good day. Yes, ma'am. Let me get a picture of it. I'm sure it'll. I have my swimsuit on underneath, so this says.
don't respond to it. No. All right. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. I wanted to give you this card with your report number on it. Thank you. My name and the contact information for the sheriff's office. Wonderful. And also, your gas cap lid is open on your car. Is it really? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have a good day. Did you get gas today?